Okay. Well, I just felt like uh, sharing something. Um, hopefully, you don't turn into a rambling session. But uh, I see a lot of people late lately hard times, having hard times, having dark times, just struggling. I mean, I see a lot, a lot of you guys just struggling. And uh, day after day after day after day, um, going through a hard time uh, with, the, with being alone, with the relationship, or... Uh, battling addiction or just battling life battling life in general in in life we don't life is not a battle battle we don't have to battle we fight ourselves in life all those problems we feel like we we're fighting these problems when we're the problems is not the issue, it's ourself inside that is the issue. Day in and day out, we'll dwell on these problems. We sit on anger, we sit on why me's, we sit on uh self pity, we sit on sorrow. We dwell on all these, all this inside of us. We get imprisoned in our head with these emotions and with these feelings. And we sit here. When we can't do anything about these situations that we're going through right now. Um... When you're sitting, dwelling on these issues, you're only keeping these problems alive within yourself. The sadness, the anger, because you keep thinking, you keep replaying. You're even trying to solve it in your head. You're trying to solve it. Your power can't solve the problems you're having right now. They can't. Because if you could solve it, your problem would be over today, right now. But there's nothing you could say, there's nothing you could do to solve the problem you're having right now. So it goes on for days or even weeks. We wake up, we still function in life, but our inner world is just sad and in a dark place. Worried, stress, anxiety. And I tell you, it keeps these issues alive in within yourself. All those issues are out of world issues. Because you don't have no control of those issues. When they're ready to be solved, they'll solve itself. Just like all the issues you had in your past, like I had in my past. We worry for weeks and then that issue just solves like that. And we're like, why was I even worried? I was worried over this? Think about it. Your past issues always happen like that. So these issues will happen like that. So this is why you have to train your mind and battle your mind to stop this thinking process. We... We take away every single day we're alive when we live in these problems. And our minds are so used to doing it. Why me? And what is? And we complain about these problems. 
We complain about these problems. We talk about these problems all day. So what you have to do, you have to make up your mind. You have to be you have to decide. You have to be tired of living this way. Stop moping around and feeling sorry for yourself. The past is the past. You only have today. You're being sad about the past and, and you're stressed out about the future. You're in two different spots and you're missing out on today. Today. So you have to decide that you're done living this way. Like, you have to be determined. You have to gather your strength. You have to be angry in a way of, of, of your, not yourself, but you have to be strong. You have to be strong. No, you got to tell yourself, no ands, ifs, or buts about it. I am changing it, and I am changing it now. And another, and that's what you have to decide. Because you're gonna battle when you got when you change your thoughts, when you reprogram your your mind. It's a battle. It's a battle because your mind wants to keep up, keep falling back into the negative ways, keep falling back into what you're dwelling on. So being positive is not easy. It's a fight. But it's a fight that you are willing, that you have to be willing to do. It's hard, but you have to do it. You have to be tired of living in the, you have to be tired of having these problems control your life. Because that's what they're doing. So you have to decide and change your perspective. When we go through bad times, when we go through hard times, look at what you could be learning. You got to open your mind up. You got to open up. It's hard to explain how to open up, but you have to look at the big picture. We think that this world, our world, on earth, we think it evolves around us, but it don't. So when you can see that you're so small on this planet, Open your mind to the bigger things. Then you could start changing your perspective on these problems. Think about what, what, what you're getting out of these problems. What you're gaining out of these problems. What you're learning from these problems. Be excited because... You're building your character. Um, you're uh, gathering strength. You're uh, building endurance. You're uh, practicing on how to stay calm in a stressful, chaotic situation. Change your perspective. On things. And remember, we don't have control of these things. And if you're alone, oh, there's so much I could want to say and I want to speak about, but I'm going to just cut it short. Learn. Life is about learning. We get we have these problems of life that weigh us down. 
These aren't the problems. We are the problem. We have hurt inside us. We have wo open wounds in, inside of, of us. And once you get in touch with your soul, you have to stop avoiding these wounds, avoiding these issues. You have to face these issues in order to know who you are and in order to know your soul. You have to admit what your issues and your fears are. You have to dig deep into those instead of trying to avoid them and ignore them like you've been doing. Then you can fix yourself. And no one can do it but you because this is why. You only know your battle your battle scar, your your open wounds, what's hurt, what's hurting you, you only know. And it's a feeling. And even if you try to explain it to someone, your words, you cannot find the words to express your pain at all. So learn what is hurting you. And you have to fix those wounds. There's so much that you need to do in order to heal yourself and change your and reprogram your mind and change your perspective. There's so much. And and remember, it's we're in a rush for everything. Slow down. Pay attention to the today. Learn see what we could learn today about ourselves. We live each day and we try to, to fix everything outside and we ignore inside. Let everything outside fix itself because you can't fix it. Everything outside will fix itself in time when it's ready. So instead of worrying about it, Start fixing yourself within. Read something. Find out who you are. Find your soul. Find your your holes. Find what's weighing heavy on your heart. And then start learning. Start start digging. Start. And once you start coming across things, things will start sticking to you. You'll start coming across new things that open your eyes. <sighs> Hopefully, I don't know if I ramble or not, but life is so much more than just worrying and struggling. It could stop. It, could, it stops within here. The outer world will be the outer world. We drive ourselves crazy in here. You have to get control of it. And no one can show you but yourself. But you have to decide to do it. And you have to be tired of living the way you are right now. One thing at a time. One day at a time. And I really do, man. I really do love every single one of you. And I wish I could help every single one of you out. I understand the dark times. Because I was in the dark times. I didn't know there was a... When I lived in the dark times, I didn't know that there was a light side. A side with light. I didn't know. Because I was so used to being dark. It's until now. Me living in the light. I still have dark moments, but I know there is light, and I'm not in that dark storm that I used to live in for years, and I see all you guys living in this dark, dark storm I used to live in. That's why I'm so passionate 
when I post things or when I touch, reach out to you guys, I want to help you. I want to help you. Life is beautiful right now. And the only thing that changed was my mind and the way I think and the way I, I show gratitude and the way I love and the way I, I'm compassionate now. That outer world is still the same from how I used to be. That didn't change. I changed. And you guys could too. I love you.